it's Cameron Foster from Fresno State Focus and today I'm going to be showing you an interview with a young man named Tracy Allen who was just a victim of racially profiled within a similar neighborhood like this. And this actually happened to me on the job while I was working. Um, so as you may know, like a lot of us are experiencing um, loss of work during this pandemic. Uh, me being one of them, I had to leave two of my jobs. So I've been trying to find another job. And I was doing, um, I got involved in solar sales because that seemed to be something that I could actually do good at, just talking to people and getting people interested in having uh, solar panels on their homes. And um, on my fourth day on the job, uh, I went to this, this neighborhood in uh, Clovis and I knocked on my, my second door. And uh, without giving away like all the, the super finite details, basically I knocked on the door uh, the wife was very endearing and kind, um, but a little bit short into my spiel. I want to say maybe like 10, 15 seconds into me just trying to introduce myself and tell them what I'm here for. The husband runs to the door, cuts me off, and basically yells all these kind of curse words at me and tells me to get away from his door, which is fine. Um, I mean, it's not fine, but, you know, a lot of salesmen experience that anyway. So I just said, okay, I'll just chalk that down as a guy that doesn't want to be bothered. And I left. I walked away. I said, have a nice day. All right. I'll leave you guys alone. Started walking to my next door. I look behind me and this man is glaring at me and even following me a little bit. And so I look back at him and raise my hands like this, just to, as if to ask, like, you know, what's going on? Um, is everything OK? He doesn't reply. So I just continue walking, knock on my next door, uh, come back because nobody answered and he's still just following me with his, with his eyes through his whole neighborhood. Um, I end up going to my fourth door and I come back out and I notice that he's on the phone and I have my fiance in the car because she goes with me on these trips and she just sits in the car while I knock on doors trying to sell. And um, she t calls me and says, I think he's on the, on the phone with the, with the police. We should go right now because of everything that's happening and I don't want anything to happen to you. Um, me, you know, instantly that's, that's fear kicking in for me, but there's also a form of anger and kind of confusion. Like what is going on? Like I'm here, I'm, I'm dressed, um, nice. I'm not dressed in a quote unquote mysterious way. You know, obviously I'm just here on the job doing business. Why is this man calling the police on me? Do you see a difference between racial profiling and discrimination or do you feel that they're the same thing? Honestly, I feel like I feel like they can be one and the same. You know, I don't feel like those two things need to necessarily be be separated. You know, I feel like racism is racism. And if you're racially profiling somebody just because they're a black person in a, in a nice neighborhood and you think that they don't belong here, you know, that's racist. If you're discriminating against somebody and you just don't like them or whatever just because of their skin color then you know nonetheless like that's that's racist so both of those are one and the same honestly and I, and um if you're capable of doing one then you're capable of doing the other you know so it all it all falls under the same ladder and that's just just being racist you know um you can try to anybody can try to break those down as two different things and try to make one seem lighter than the other but they're both just as bad yeah so yeah, that's, that's where I stand on that.